to Mental Health Mondays. We at CPS want you to know that we're missing you and thinking of you, and that Athens isn't the same without you here, and that we know these are difficult, uncertain times that may come with sort of an avalanche of different emotions for you. Each week, we plan to provide a supportive education and skills based on questions you've asked and common struggles that we've seen students encounter. In future weeks, we'll talk about anxiety coping, relationship challenges, academic issues, and other topics. This week, we'll be focusing on questions regarding transition back to living at home with family or others and asking for privacy during physical distancing. So I'll be talking about very broad communication skills that can be used in many situations, including asking for what you want from others. There are two things on the front end to emphasize. The first is that the skills sort of assume that you're in an environment that is safe physically and emotionally to assert yourself. Um, if that's not the case, I encourage you to reach out to us and to your local and national domestic violence resources. The other thing is that you and I could work on crafting the most beautiful, well-written, kindest, and most assertive way of asking for what you want, and the other person could still say no. Um, that doesn't mean that you were wrong for asking, and it doesn't mean that you asked in a, a bad way. Um, so it's important to hold that in mind as you work on these, because self-kindness is important too. So maybe in the past you've heard of I statements, like where you say, I feel sad when you ignore me. What we're talking about is an expansion of that developed by Marsha Linehan, who created Dialectical Behavior Therapy, or DBT. If you're interested in going down a quarantine rabbit hole, I would recommend Googling her. Um, she's had a fascinating life and brings a lot of hope in kind of challenging circumstances. Anyway, her treatment contains a whole bunch of different skills that are geared to different basic human emotional needs, so I recommend checking out DBT. One of the skills she developed focuses on communication and relationships. On your screen is a resource that provides details on this skill, and I encourage you to take a screenshot of that. The skills are called Dear Man Give Fast, so DBT loves acronyms. There are a lot of acronyms in, in that therapy. Um, Basically, DBT says that when we're asking for something, we have to consider three different things. One is what our goal is. What outcome do we want in the situation? Two is how important is the relationship? Is it one that's very important to protect, or is it one that you don't need to protect as much? And the third is preserving your self-respect. So even if the outcome isn't what you wanted, you can still feel good about the way you acted in the situation. So the skills are broken down to reflect these three areas. To build skills with asking for what you want, you would work with the dear man skills, describing, expressing, asserting, reinforcing, staying mindful, appearing confident, being willing to negotiate and compromise. The asserting skill, that's one of those dear man skills, might include something called the broken record technique, which is where you repeat the same request over and over and over if the person is kind of deflecting from your request. If you're someone who tends to find yourself in conflict in relationships, the give skills can be very useful. That's where you focus on being gentle, showing interest in the other person's perspective, validating their thoughts and feelings, and having an easy manner, for example, by using humor or wit or charm, but not sarcasm. Um, for keeping your self-respect, the fast skills encourage you to be fair with the other person and with yourself to avoid over-apologizing, so not apologizing for making a request and not apologizing for having an opinion, to hold firm and stick with your values and what you know to be true, and to be honest with yourself and others. You'll also notice that I've given you a sample script at the bottom to put the dear man skills into practice. I encourage you to do that as well when you're approaching a situation that you know will be challenging um, in terms of asking for something write out the dear man skills. Start to work with the language that you want to use. You don't have to stick rigidly to that script, but it helps you find the language that works best for you and your situation. So hopefully these are skills you can use when communicating with others. If you have questions or need some support with implementing these skills, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.